Okay, good evening. Welcome to Fin Math number 994. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh, uh, yeah, Fin Math 994. So, uh, there's a new paper out uh, by Terry Tao and uh, some physicists, some physicists and then Terry Tao, actually, that is about an interesting um, linear algebra identity for a class of matrices called Hermitian matrices. And what that identity says, and they call it eigenvectors from eigenvalues, that identity says that if you take the individual values of the eigenvectors and square them, mm -hmm. multiply by a product of the eigenvalues of the matrix you're looking at, and we're going to do an example with a 3 by 3, that equals the product of the eigenvalue that you are looking at for that associated eigenvector minus uh, the eigenvalues of uh, a, a special sub-matrix. But the neat thing is, if you take this value here and you just divide by this product, mm -hmm you get a formula for the, the values of the inside the eigenvectors as just a product of the eigenvalues. Hmm. That's pretty neat. Uh, so we looked uh, yesterday at the matrix they were looking at. Let me actually find that while I erase. And we repeated their calculations for the, uh, what is the matrix? Can you read the rows? The matrix is, the first row is 1, 1, minus 1. 1, 1, minus 1. Then 1, 3, 1. 1, 3, 1. And then minus 1, 1, 3. Okay, and the associated eigenvalues and eigenvectors, uh, the first one, lambda 1, was? Um, so it was 1 over root 6 times 2 minus 1, 1. Okay, so two minus one, one, and the, yeah, for the for their um, for their uh, theorem, you uh, make the eigenvectors have a unit length. Okay. So lambda one was zero associated with the vector. Just don't leave out those square roots. Um. It was two it was minus one, one. Minus one, one, and what was lambda two? Um. It was three, and then the vector was one, one minus one. The eigenvector here was 1, 1, minus 1. How am I doing on room here? Okay, and then for the last one, lambda 3 was? Um, it was 4, and then the vector was 0, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1. Okay, and we calculated all these. We, how do you calculate the eigenvalues? Um, so you, um, you take your lambda, and then you put it in, you multiply the identity matrix by lambda, and then you subtract that away from your original matrix, with the identity matrix being the same number of rows as this one. Okay. Yeah. And then you take the determinant of that, and then solve that equation for lambda, and that gets you your eigenvalues. Uh -huh. And then you plug the values of lambda in back into your altered matrix to the vectors. Okay, so for the second video on this project, I'm going to have you pick one of these and then show how you get, how you get the eigenvector. Okay. okay.